like my filthy pigeons. <laughs> filthy pigeons who are so filthy they can't even speak. You know, this floor is creeping me out. I take a look at the floor, I know. Use your camera skills. Look. <laughs> look, it's getting all slidey and marks on it scuffed already. We need some kind of cleaning product. <laughs> Maybe some kind of... What's that cleaning product that English guy with the red suspenders on? Is it Mr. Clean? <laughs> oh, do you want things clean? <laughs> well, you just clean this right up. <laughs> Use it in your teeth, Mr. Clean, that's what I say. Oh, by the way, my, my tooth uh, it healed up nicely, look. Yeah. <laughs> if you're tuning into this show for the first time, it's all right, we don't know what's going on either, it's all right. My next guest tonight, a terrific actress, she co-stars in the popular NBC series, The Office. Take a look at this. You know what I was thinking might be sort of fun? is if you forgave me in front of everybody. Michael, I'm not going to do that. Because you know what they say in the Bible about forgiveness? Forgiveness is next to godliness. Oh, that's not well, just, just, just You just cracked my pelvis. Look, I just, I don't understand what is preventing you from laughing this off and giving me a big hug. You are not forgiven. Come on. Michael! 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 Michael. Please welcome the lovely Kate Flannery, everybody. Thank you so much. Welcome. How lovely is it? Now, are you an Italian as well? Are you from I, an Italian family in Queens? <laughs> Flannery is as Italian as you've ever Yeah, absolutely. Ferguson is. Ferguson's not, that's, uh, no. Ferguson's not that Irish. <laughs> Although my family are Irish in many ways. Oh, they are? Well, the fact that my grandmother was born is from Donegal. Oh, interesting. Well, no, I don't know if she's still from Donegal. She, she's dead. <laughs> No, it's not. she didn't stop being Irish just because mortality crept up on her. She's still Irish. <laughs> she lived a long, happy life. Shut up. I, I, <laughs> I've met you before. I have. I've actually waited on you. Is that okay to say that? I used to be a waitress. So and I, Craig I, I was... used to be able to afford to go out. <laughs> you were always very delightful. Really? Always. Did I hit on you a bit? Maybe? Just no, a little bit? No, 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 no. Uh, mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> what, what, where, in uh, what restaurant? I used to work at a restaurant in Beverly Hills uh, called Kate Mantellini. I used to go there! <laughs> <laughs> what a coincidence! I used to wait on you there! And he, oh, you always ordered a ca I'll have a cappuccino. You, or, really? You always, yeah, you're a bit Dude, of a That's a while ago then, because I don't do that anymore. Uh -huh. No. Uh -huh. Latte. Oh. No. <laughs> I do latte I didn't need to now. give away any of your secrets. Yeah, but... well, it's, you know, it's quite important that I keep that <laughs> under wraps. But you know, you learn a lot about it, someone when you wait on them. Really? And you were always very congenial. And... Who was the worst person? You don't have to tell us who it was. Well, you do, actually. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, I, there's... I, I, no, you can't. I know it's, it's... I did once wait on Bono and The Edge together at that restaurant in the middle of the day. Ow! Oh! <laughs> You know, I sat behind them on a plane once. Really? Aren't they tiny? <laughs> they are! They're tiny! They are! They're tiny! They're like lucky little Irishmen, if you know. <laughs> Aren't they tiny? They are, and I was trying to be so cool when I met them because I, I was such a huge fan, and I ended up getting a headache because I was like, hey, how's it going? What's going on? How are you doing? What's going on? I was trying to be really cool. And, and is, that, is that your I, cool I, so thing? That was me. That was my cool thing. No, 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 no. I'm going to do that now. Yeah, I'm really cool. <laughs> But I wanted to say, like, I freaking love you, man! It's a sophomore, sophomore year, war, the war album. I mean, I wanted to, like, freak out, and it just wasn't really appropriate. No, it's not. You can't do that, because they won't order any more food from you. <laughs> it's true. They'd be like, oh, thanks very much. But you know, I was sitting behind them on a plane once, and I could, I was trying to hear what they were talking about, like, if they would talk like normal people. <laughs> and I could hear Bono saying, you know, Edge, we got to do something about this third world condition. And I could hear the Edge going, ah, you're right there, Bono. <laughs> no, it was hours of this. Hours and hours. Oh, that's a terrible situation there in Africa. Ah, you're right there, Bono, Edge. <laughs> that's a right, that's a terrible situation over there. 
We gotta do something. How about some kind of concert? Great idea. <laughs> All the way. Yeah, the it's fantastic. Do you have any special plans for for uh, Patty's Day? Do you well, do anything? Well, I unfortunately I can't jump on a plane because I'm working on the office. But um, my family owns a bar in Philadelphia. Stop it. <laughs> Why didn't I meet you back in the day? I know. I know. Is it crazy there? It's or? crazy. They have this thing called the Aaron Express that they do a couple, a couple weekends ahead of time just to warm up for today. Right. And my brother, like my, my dad used to run the bar. Now my brother runs the bar. And he literally has to get a U-Haul and take every thing that could be thrown and put it into the U-Haul. Every chair, every table, everything gets locked up. You're taking out. me back. Right. <laughs> that is beautiful. Good times. Good times. Absolutely. It gets that. It doesn't. I mean, really. It gets a little do they do crazy. the green beer? I'm not crazy about the green yeah, beer. Yeah, no, not, not so much anymore. But, you yeah. know, my dad, he ran the bar for years. It was my grandfather's bar before it was my dad's. And, you know, it, and now my brother's the next. And then his son is taking over. I mean, it's, it's you know, it's just, it never stops. It's, it's, it's alcoholism. It's, it just goes yes, and goes. <laughs> it's, it's adorable. It is, it's that lovely. It's the gift that keeps on giving. It's from, true. From generation to generation. It's true. My, my dad was always more of a social worker than a businessman. So he, he had the apartments above the bar, and some of the guys that lived up there were a little down on their luck from time to time. So we always had a lot of alcoholics hanging around the house, like doing yard work and putting up a shelf and painting. And Yes, not really the guys you want to do that. <laughs> Next time you get yourself some contractors in there, eh? <laughs> I go, that'll do. <laughs> it's lovely talking to you again. So Kid Larry, everybody. Thank you so much. Everybody, everybody.